Hey guys, welcome to the second video in this chassis building uh, series. Um, this is going to be Kevin Harvick's 2014 championship car. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to, tonight we're going to build the front and rear clip. Um, and what I wanted to show you guys before we ever get started, if you ca in case you didn't catch the first video, this is how we have modified the chassis. We've gotten everything squared up, lined up where we need it to be. Always remember, keep the dash in. And the wonderful part about building this is I don't, I add my splitter before I ever paint or anything like that. So one thing about the front clip that really, really helps is when you're building it, the front splitter will work kind of like a, almost like a latch to hold the front, well, really to hold the chassis to the body. Um, that's the main point of it. Um, it does come in handy. And with the rear clip, the way that these bodies were designed, it's wonderful because you know you'll hit exactly where you need to because of these body markings inside of here, which is where the chassis would have sat before we cut it. So that's one big thing that we're gonna pay attention to as well. Um, this is something that I made up a long time ago and it just kind of helps me when I'm trying to lay everything out. Um, I can scan this in the computer if anybody wants it and you can print it on your own just so you know about what you're doing with it. Um, so this is basically, this is a body traced. This is the measurements inside of the rear clip. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna build our bottom first and then work our way up. Um, for this particular project, I use, this is from Evergreen Scale Models. Um, this is item number 175.100 times 0.100 square tubing. I'm only gonna use a very minute bit of this. Next, we use item 212.080 rod. You'll use quite a bit of this. And you'll also use quite a bit of item number 222.16 rod. Um, this will be plenty for what we're gonna do today. Um, and you can also use, uh, you can use this as fuel line. Um, you'll be able to see that as well whenever we get to the latter parts of this video. So let's get started. We're gonna do the rear clip first. So as I'm lining everything up, on here, RB stands for uh, round bar, and you'll obviously see the difference in square bar. Um, we're gonna start with the rear first, and the reason we're gonna do that is the rear does not have very much to play with. Um, the front, you can trim, you can maneuver. Um, it, it lends itself to a little bit tighter tolerances because you will have the splitter um, holding the chassis to the car. So let's get started with the rear clip. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to take our 0 .080 rod and we're going to cut the bracket pieces back here. And I'll show you guys how I do that in just a second. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to cut our rods to the length that we need them. Using this template here, you can see exactly how much you have to play with. And because we are gonna use a thicker rear clip, the back bar that sits up against the body, this is gonna determine where we cut it at. Now, we're gonna set that to the side for a second. Um, I use a multitude of things. There are some guys that just use a straight hobby knife. Um, it, it really, it's completely up to you. I have found a lot of use in this Zona. So we're gonna drop in. We have our mark. All it takes is really one pull back.
Now, the other method you can use, it's like I was talking about, just take your cheap or a good sharp hobby knife. You can roll and it scores itself, but the only problem is you better make sure you know where the ricochet went to. And here we go. We're gonna set those two to the side. Um, we are going to go ahead and measure. We have all three of those ready to go. Now, to cut your angles exactly how you want to, most guys would go ahead and cut them. I don't, and I'll tell you why. Because I can easily pick up the model once I've built the back bar, and I can draw exactly what angles I need and get a, to me, a better cut. And when we come back, I'll show you that. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of our plasti weld. We're going to add some back here to this bumper bar. Doesn't take much. We're going to hold... There's our first one. We're gonna do the same thing again. Same thing. We're gonna let this set for a few minutes and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna glue our back bar. All right, guys, we're back. I think everything's had enough time to cure. So, take again a little bit of our Plasti Weld. I'm just gonna do a little dab. Doesn't take a lot. All right, we're going to give that a couple minutes to set up before we move on. All right, guys. So, this is pretty much where you should be at right now. Everything's lined up. No hard problems. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to add, add the support rods. And the way that I do that is I simply go back over here to the little template that I made. Okay. 
and again. There's one angle. And let's see. Second angle. You're going to copy that twice. When we do that, then we're going to get it glued up. All right, guys. Now that we've cut our support bars, grab you a little bit of the Plasti Weld again. This can be the somewhat tricky part. Hands are not as steady as they used to be. Got our first one in. Same thing with the other side. All right, guys, as you can see, we have our supports in. Everything looks good and level. I'm gonna grab the body, check for a quick measurement. There we go. Your rear clip is done. By using the dashboard to make sure everything lines up correctly. And there we go. There's your rear clip. All right, guys, we're gonna do the front clip now. Um, I had to make some adjustments. Um, there is a slight difference in the Fusion Revell glue kit and the SS kit, and it's mainly just around the shape inside of the nose here. Um, so what I've done is I have drawn me a template that I can go by, and it'll help me when I go to make my cuts. And for this one, like I pointed out earlier in the video, um, I didn't show this one piece. 
we're going to be using part number 153.060 by 0 .060 square tubing and the 0.80 by 0.80 square tubing. Um, you will use some round tubing when we're doing this, but for all intents and purposes, we're going to get this bottom part built first. So what I like to start with is I'm going to take the 0 0.60 get one stick out and to make things easier that's why I got this template was just to be able to make cuts and make things easier for us so we're not out here cutting and sanding and cutting and sanding some more so we follow this there's that portion we are going to flip it over Back it up a hair. That's good. Now, once you get these two cut, you're going to get your flexi file or plastic weld, excuse me. Put your little dab just right here. We're going to go right back here. Just want to keep some pressure here and make sure everything welds up like it needs to. This stuff works off of capillary action, so it does take a little bit of patience. This is not something you're going to be able to fly through for those of us that like to build quicker. And we'll give that a second. We come back we're going to start with the next bars all right guys this is a few minutes to set up we're going to stick it onto the body a lot of this is pretty much test and go this uh 0.80 or yeah 0 0.80 square tubing is what we're going to use we want to make sure we have plenty of clearance so it fits up underneath there i think we do so we're going to go and do the front bars next So basically, again, using our template, we're going to come off the front. There's that one. We're going to go right here. That one.
It's got a little bit of lean to it, which is fine. And there we go. Guys, one thing I want y'all to realize is this is tedious, okay? This is not something that can be done in one night, but the results will be way better. All right, guys, when we come back, we're going to cut our next set of bars once this sets up. All right, guys, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut these crossbars here. The way that I do this is I overlay it. Boom. We're going to come back right here. Boom, there's one. Come back over here, same thing again. There's that one. Boom. We're going to get these glued up. Spun it. My bad.
All right, guys, once we get this glued, these two sections glued up, we'll come back and we'll pick up from there. All right, guys, that's set up pretty well. Again, a lot of this is trial and error. This is just my method that I use. See, everything fits. Should not have any issues whatsoever. So to get the curvature out of a square rod, I usually just take my hand about like this and just work it over. See how I'm just taking and pulling it? Just give it some curve to it. Now, this is what I do personally. So I'm going to start with this joint right about here. As we can see, everything's held down. And get you a little bit of your plasti weld. Gonna get us a marker. This is the tedious part. So you want it to have a good weld and a good shape to it. You're gonna have to do a little bit at a time just so it doesn't flex and move and get out of shape. And basically, you're just going to continue to work yourself around. When we come back, I'll have this completely glued and done. But this is the technique that I use. I just pull it back around a little bit at a time. All right, guys. We have everything in place like we needed it to be. We're going to set the body in. And we're going to make a couple marks so we know where to cut, cut excess off. So here... My Sharpie will work. We're gonna go here. And we're gonna go here. All right, guys, so when we come back next week, we are going to be able to build up our rear, our front clip back up here into, uh, back up here into the nose. And we're also going to add the missing bars that were supposed to be inside of the chassis whenever this kit came out. Um, and we'll get those cleaned up, these joints ready to go, get them sanded, and we'll move on. But thank you guys for tuning in. And I hope that this will help somebody as they go and they're trying to build and, and, and do better in their, in their own projects. Thank you, guys.